All right, it's a new year. I'm back. Let's talk about changing our default fade type in Pro Tools. All right, so I'm in Pro Tools here. I have a crossfade that you can see here. If I delete that, um, I can hover with my smart tool on the boundary between the two. I can hold Command because I'm in grid mode, and that allows it to move freely. And then release to create a new one, right? Um, if I double click on a fade, I can change the type of fade it is. This should all be pretty familiar to anyone that's watched previous videos on my channel. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this, but I just kind of wanted to touch on it really quickly. Um, but basically, the two big things we're going to be focusing on today are equal power and equal gain and how you can change those and change the default. So I actually have a video about equal power and equal gain, so I'll put a card up on the screen for that. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with the difference between the two. But the basic idea is that equal power is good for stuff that is not phase coherent, right? That's the cliff note. And then equal gain is good for stuff that is phase coherent. So if, for example, you're using a sample over and over that's duplicated and you're doing a crossfade between the duplicates, it would probably be a good idea to start with equal gain and see how that sounds. And you know, if you find that you're in equal power and you hear a little bit of a boost in the middle of that crossfade, it might be because you're working with stuff that is more phase coherent. And so you might want to switch over to equal gain. That's the basic idea, right? Those are the, the cliff notes. So if you're working with something that's very similar, then you might want to switch to equal gain. If it's totally different stuff, maybe you're working on like sound design, for example, you might want to be in equal power a lot. But depending on what you're working on, you might realize that you prefer one of these over the other as your default, as the one that you go to the most. So with that in mind, I'm not going to talk about all the different ways that you can make fades in Pro Tools because I think I have videos that cover that topic already. So I guess I'll put another card up on the screen for, for any video that covers making fades. Um, but if you go to setup and then preferences and then you go to your editing tab, what you can do is right here you can set your default. So you can set the default for fade in, for example, equal power, equal gain. You can change the, the shape of it, right? You can um, drag things to adjust them. You can go a little wild with it, right? It's like whatever shape you want, whatever type of thing you tend to want, you can set that as your default. And then I'm gonna hit cancel here. You can set the fade out very similarly, right? It's just a fade out instead of a fade in. And then you can also set your crossfade. So this is the one that I found to be the most useful uh, with my workflow is the ability to set this and to change this. Um, so if you want, if you tend to be doing like more sound design, for example, like I was talking about, you might wanna switch it to equal power. Um, you can change it to a different shape if you want. You can change it to a different kind of default. But whatever you want, you can set it right here and then you just hit OK. I'm actually, I'm going to switch to equal power just to show you. So I hit OK. Now it's going to be on equal power. And then you just hit OK again. And now if you go to make a new crossfade, I'm just going to hold command. You can now see that it's equal power. So if I then go and change it back, because I might want to change it back just for me personally, switch back to equal gain and hit OK. And now whenever I make a new fade, it's going to be equal gain. And that's how you do it. It's really handy, especially if you tend to do things like editing a whole track and then highlighting and doing Command F to do a whole bunch of fades and crossfades at once. This makes it much easier, saves you a ton of time if you can just set the default to how you want it, right? So yeah, that's it. I guess it's a bit of a shorty video. I'm recovering from a cold over here. I just got through with the online portion of my Dolby Atmos training that I did over the holidays. So I'm a little run down, but uh, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And I am back in the swing of things, so I'll be coming out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay.